How about we do a cauliflower steak? That's something that's all the rage right now. So we've gone from the very traditional, the spaghetti with cauliflower, breadcrumbs, and cheese, to something that is really kind of in the limelight. So to do it, to make a cauliflower steak, you want to brush a nonstick baking pan with some olive oil and then just set that aside. And then in a bowl, or rather, let me start with the parsley. We want to mix up kind of like a, a rub, if you will, that we're going to put on the steak. So I really prefer using the flat leaf Italian parsley. And always use it fresh. Don't, don't try to do this with dried parsley because it just will not be the same thing. So you really want to give it a good mince. Okay, that's good. We're going to put it in a bowl. Just like that. That's about two hefty tablespoons, I would say, of parsley. And then we want some celery salt. I usually use this uh, if I'm doing soup or I put it in a potato salad, but it's good with this cauliflower too because, you know, cauliflower by itself is just uh, kind of bland. So about a teaspoon of that goes in. And then a few hot red pepper flakes go in. You want some salt and pepper, obviously. Salt. And some garlic. So here are two cloves of garlic. Let's smash those down, chop them up. And then we're just going to mix that all with a little bit of olive oil, and that's going to be what we're going to brush on the cauliflower. And mix that around so it's almost pasty. See? The front of it like that, see? If you get a couple pieces that don't cling, that's okay. But try to cut thick slices. See? Like that. Thick slices. Let me do one more. Okay. And then you take this mixture, and I'm going to use my hands because that's what I normally do, and you brush this with the mixture. See? Over the top, just like that. It'll fall into some of those little holes and crevices. Just pat it on there. All right. And once you have it like that, then you can give it a little extra olive oil. And it goes right into a 375 degree preheated oven. So we're going to bake these. Oh. Until a knife can easily be inserted, that could be anywhere between 25, 30 minutes, even less. And five minutes before we take these out of the oven, we're going to put on some grated Asiago cheese. So aren't they beautiful? Cauliflower steak goes in the oven. And while that's cooking, we'll grate the cheese. Okay, now I'm grating the Asiago cheese that we're going to put on that cauliflower steak about five minutes before it's done. I'm going to open the oven and just put the cheese on and then put the cauliflower steaks back in the oven just until the cheese melts. Mm -hmm. 